Hey guys, Michael from Pinpoint Podiatry. Today we're gonna to be talking about how Grant Hill almost died and what if he had never been injured. Grant Hill is a seven-time NBA All-Star, All-NBA First Team, and four-time NBA All-Second Team. Whilst Grant Hill was a great player, we often ask ourselves, what could have been? Believe it or not, the recurrent injury of his ankle would almost lead to his death. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. In 1994, Grant Hill was selected to the Detroit Pistons with the third overall pick. At a time where the NBA was looking for the next Michael Jordan, Grant Hill was projected to be so by some. In his first season, he averaged 19.9 points, 6.4 rebounds and 5 assists, along with 1.7 steals per game, and became the first Pistons rookie since Isaiah Thomas in the 1981-82 season to score over 1,000 points. Hill ended up sharing NBA Rookie of the Year award honors with Jason Kidd. Hill regularly played in the NBA All-Star game, where he made history by being the first rookie to lead an NBA All-Star fan balloting in 1994-95 the season, with over 1.2 million votes, narrowly defeating Shaquille O'Neal. In addition, he became the first rookie in any of the four major professional sports leagues in America to lead All-Star fan voting. In his second season, the 1995-96 season, he once again led the All-Star fan balloting, this time edging Michael Jordan, Jordan's first All-Star game after returning since retiring in 1993. During the 95-96 season, Hill showcased his all-round abilities by leading the NBA in triple-doubles. I think it's fair to say Hill was off to a very, very promising start to his career. On April 15, the year 2000, seven days before the start of the playoffs, Hill sprained his ankle in a game against the Philadelphia 76ers. He continued to play until the first round of the playoff series against the Miami Heat, in which his ankle got worse and Hill was forced to leave halfway through game two. The Heat would eventually sweep the Pistons 3-0. Hill was initially selected for the 2000 US Olympic team but could not play due to his ankle injury which would prove to be a major liability for years to come. After the first six seasons of his career before his ankle injury, Hill had a total of 9,393 points, 3,417 rebounds and 2,720 assists. Oscar Robertson, Larry Bird and LeBron James are the only other three players in league history to eclipse these numbers after their first six seasons. As I've discussed in many videos before, once you've sprained your ankle, it's very likely that it will happen again as a result of a number of factors. In March 2003, Hill underwent a major surgical procedure in which doctors refractured his ankle and realigned it with his leg bones, so his fibula and tibia. Five days after the surgery was performed, Hill developed a 104 degree Fahrenheit or 40.3 degrees Celsius fever and was having convulsions and was rushed to a hospital. Doctors removed the splint around his ankle and discovered that Hill had contracted a potentially fatal methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus or an MRSA infection, quite a tongue twister there and he was hospitalized for two months and had to take IV antibiotics for six months. This is why infection control in hospitals is very important. But even though there are so many protocols in place, it never guarantees anything. After his first six seasons with the Pistons, in which he averaged 21.6 points, 7.9 rebounds and 6.3 assists, his next 12 seasons were mostly injury plagued as he averaged just 13.1 points, 4.7 rebounds, and 2.6 assists per game. Which makes you wonder, what could have Grant Hill been if he'd never suffered from these injuries? Thankfully, Grant Hill lived and still played 19 seasons in the NBA. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys enjoy these types of videos, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up or comment down below. Or you can even follow me on social media at Pinpoint Podiatry. And as always, even more importantly this time, be an ankle breaker, don't get your ankles broken, and I'll see you in the next video.